Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial of Predator Behavior Module. This module enables your Blaze AI character to turn into, some, into a predator, basically. So something like the alien from Alien Isolation or even Mr. X from Resident Evil. So this is what this module does. So let's get right to it and let's see how we can turn a normal Blaze AI character uh, into this predator. So I'm going to start off by creating an empty game object and I'm going to add component predator director. I'll just write predator or even director, right? And there you go. Now I'm going to set my player in prey, okay? And then call predator by timer is by default enabled. This uh, generates a random value between this minimum, which is the x, and the ma and the maximum, right? And then starts a timer and when the timer is full the AI or the predator will enter the map because in the game flow the predator is despawned by default uh, of course you can change this uh, by simply enabling spawn and start this one right here but uh, the AI by default is despawned and then when when it's called it enters through enter entry and exit points We'll get to this later. Okay, so uh, the minimum and the value is just too large by default, so I'll change it to something like 15. Okay, so if you put two constant values, <laughs> there's no randomization. So it simply will be 15. Right. Uh, enter and exit points. I want to add entry and exit points. So let's do this. There we go. You can uh, set them using the scene view. So I'm going to set this black box right here. As you can see, it's set as an entry and exit point, and it changes with the flags. So if exit point is disabled, if you only want this to be an entry point and you disable exit point, it says so. Not set as anything because both are disabled. Okay, so let's set another one. Into this other. Black box, right? So now we've set the entry and exit points, right? Let's get to the searching tab. Amount of search points. Again, with the two values, it can randomize, but I want it to be constant. I want it to be six. That means I want the AI to search for me six times before it quits and exits the point again through the exit points. Prey location approximation. If you've set the prey, which you have to, it's not optional, you will find an, uh, and you have the show location approximation enabled, you will see the prey location approximation. So th this means the AI will search for you within this radius. This of course also means the smaller you make it, this radius, the more accurate it becomes. Thus, it's less, uh, it's less uh, fair to the player. But again, it, uh, it depends on your game. So something like uh, Mr. X, for example, I think he always knows where you are. So set something like zero if you want something like Mr. X. But something like the alien, for example, it's much more wider, right? So in my case, I just want it like F15 or something. Okay, always update area. This means the AI will always be updated with the approximate area of the uh, player or if it's prey, right? Uh, now we're done with the director. So something uh, important I need to talk about is the use closing closing in feature. Now this closing in feature is pretty cool. On each search point, the AI uh, the approximation radius will automatically decrease until it reaches this minimum radius. So basically is, uh, the longer you, <laughs> you're in the same place, the better chances it has, the AI has of finding you. So uh, it's a pretty cool feature that you can use. Uh, so yeah, it's by default set to 5. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now we're done with the director. The second part is the behavior. 
And this is just like every other behavior you're used to with Blaze, like the, like the normal say behavior, like the alert behavior, so on and so forth. And so uh, we'll add components. Uh, predator. predator behavior. Now, the first thing you want to do is link it with Blaze, because as you can see, the Blaze status is not linked. What uh, linking does is it simply sets itself as the default behavior for the normal state and the alert state behavior. So, uh, and behavior. So let's try it out. This has changed to linked, and as you can see, the normal state behavior and the alert state, and the alert state behavior uh, have been changed to the predator behavior. Right now, everything else is just normal blaze. You know, setting up the animations and uh, their speeds. Use suspicious walk is used uh, as some sort of immersive feature uh, where you can set a more focused uh, and suspicious, you know, animation movement uh, when the a when the distance between the AI and its prey is less than this whatever distance you set right search point time uh, how long do you want the AI to stay in a certain in or in any search point uh, so three to six it'll randomize between these two values and then the search animations which is basically the idle animations is the same thing so I'll set to I'll set two animations Right. As for this, avoid stop near obstacles. We can show the obstacle ray. It's way at the bottom. As you can see, it's this red ray. I want to keep it at the head. So what will happen is, if the AI, while uh, while patrolling, you know, searching for you, if it hits too close near a dead end, it will detect this obstacle and it will turn around just to make it look much more natural because it's stupid just you know staring at a dead end at a wall so you can make it turn around and you can set the chances if the chance is zero it will never turn if it's 10 it will always turn anything in between you know you're giving it a chance it's randomized uh, so yeah we're basically yeah that's it you can of course add uh, audios but you know it's not important for now. Anyways, everything else, uh, uh, yeah, that's it really. So, I'm actually going to delete this. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to delete both because I've already, I already have a guard and a director set up exactly like I told you. Just you know, I've added more uh, audios and stuff like that. That's it. Come out, I know you're here. 